Hi, I'm Ben from ukuleleroadtrip.com. It's a website where I travel and play the ukulele, and this particular video is about strumming Somewhere Over the Rainbow, the most famous tune you'll be asked all over the world to play if you travel with one of these also. So um, it's been requested by a few viewers that I do a special tutorial just for this strumming, because it's true that is uh, the ukulele player for the famous version of it does something quite specific with his strumming and that's what we're going to have a look at. The way that he does it sounds like this. Right, and we're going to have a look at how to learn this because it is quite a complicated strumming actually. Uh, it needs a fair bit of practice. Now the first thing that you need to know is that on Ease's song, The Wonder, you probably already know. He's actually playing with a low G. What does that mean, playing with a low G? It doesn't mean with a low center of gravity, although I'm sure that's something that you might have had also. But no, low G, a string is, uh, you have uh, this string here, the G string on your ukulele. Bum, 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 G, C, E, A. And his G, G was a low G, so it, G. A, so basically it's a bigger string, so that this note sounds an octave lower. So he actually, at the beginning of every strumming pattern, he plucks this first string alone. And of course, on a little ukulele like mine, without a low G, it sounds a little, still different, even though we're going to strum it the same way, just so you know this. So if you want to strum it exactly like him, buy a low G string. But I mean, you know, who's got that kind of money? So what you uh, want to do is first take your ukulele, make sure it's tuned. And we're going to practice this on a C chord. Uh, first things first, you need to uh, understand the rhythm of it, and it's like this: boom, boom, tapa, a tapa, tapa, a tapa, tapa, a tapa, tapa, a tapa. So you, you're going to have to have this constant hand movement. Okay, nothing sort of stiff in the arm or in the hand. Especially when practicing this, you need to focus just as much on what you're doing as much as on the relaxation of your shoulder and just of your mind in general because it's got to have that really relaxed feel. So the rhythm pattern just on a C sounds like this. What's happening here is that first I'm plucking the string with my thumb dum, ta, ta, and then hitting the uh, the wood of the ukulele above the strings with my thumb. So it's going to be the, the feeling. So what's happening is that instead of having a normal strum like this, normal. One is going to be just plucked like this, one, two, and two is going to be hit with your thumb on the wood. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. La, 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 la. What you need to understand is, of course, you need to sing much better than this also when you're going to do your version, uh, is that it's really this one, two, one, Two and one is plucked string with your thumb, and two is hit the wood with your with your thumb. Okay, that enables the player to do a rhythmic element in the strumming without disrupting the ringing of the strings. So quite slowly, this will be. So if you want this broken up or broken down as an up, down, up, down type of thing, it's pluck, up, down, up, bang, up, down, up, pluck, up, down, up, bang, up, down, up, pluck, up, down, up, bang, up, down, up, slowly, plang, up, down, up, bang, up, down, up, plang, up, down, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but you get the idea. Um, the thing is, between the pluck and the bang, there are sometimes uh, three strums, 
Flap one, two, three, bang, one, two, three, and sometimes just two. Flap one, two, bang, one, two, three, flap, one, two, bang, one, two, three, flap, one, two, one, two, bang, one, two, three. <laughs> you see what I mean? Is that it's not that rigid. Uh, it's the same when you listen to the song by ease. It's not super rigid. What is more important is the feel and that you get always this movement of boom. for your, your um, rehearsal, your rehearsing of this. Uh, you can either rehearse by saying boom, pack, boom, pack, boom, pack, boom. Like a boom, pack. It's sort of this plonk and a bang. Um, I found that that helps me uh, keep a good rhythm. Or sometimes I like to do the uh, tatters potatoes thing that I've just invented, which is, you know, when you go to your aunt's place, and you like the aunt a lot and she's all right she's nice but what you prefer about her is her cooking potatoes and her potatoes are really special they're tatas potatoes maybe you call your aunt tata as well anyway how that goes plonk tata potato tonk uh, <laughs> the way that that goes is plonk tata bang potato tonk tata potato bong. That really helps you to have mm, ta ta pate because on potatoes there's the accent on the te and that's what you need in the groove of this song also mm, ta ta potato mm, ta ta potato mm, ta ta potato mm, ta ta potato ta ta potato somewhere over the rainbow we are helps uh, there's a PDF that you can download for this song just in the description here remember to subscribe even if you don't feel like it I mean it's free it's just a click and it'll make me a bit happy yeah so <laughs>